Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to The Messenger. Let's play. Okay, it's been a little while since we played The Messenger. Uh, yeah, this is, um, this is a good game and I've been looking forward to coming back to it. I can't remember exactly where I left off. Um, but, uh, yeah, this, um, I have played ahead in this game a little bit, um, and it gets really quite interesting like it's it's uh it's very well put together like the the, the graphically it's really good the um <clears throat> yeah graphically it's really good the um the storytelling is actually really good it has some profound moments it has some really funny moments it's i i really enjoy this game right we are at glacial peak and we are going to Whoop some ass. Actually, I can't let it go. I gotta kill that guy. <laughs> so... What was I gonna say? So, I have been experiencing, unfortunately, some stick drift in my controller. Um... Ouch, fuck. But, thankfully, this game is not affected by it. Because it doesn't really... For me, it's just in the right stick, and this game doesn't use the right stick. So, we're good. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, it's it's funny. The, the, as soon as I started hearing about the stick drift issue, that was when I started experiencing it myself, which is really, really too bad. Um, but, out of fuck. But luckily, I might actually be able to fix it myself, and maybe even without war voiding the warranty, because um, I have a uh, I have one of those repair kits thanks to needing to fix the uh, or replace the battery in my Metroid cartridge. So I've got this whole set of tools that might actually give me exactly what I need in order to fix the problem. Um, there's actually a little rubber flap underneath the. Um, Underneath the control sticks of the Switch. You can actually flip them up even just with your fingers, but it's a lot easier with tweezers. And I might be able to just use like a can of CO2 to, to blast in the in there. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I will soon. Uh, yeah, let's chat with him. Uh, current area. I'm finally near the mountain summit. Looks like my adventure is about to come to an end. Not even close. Clearly you haven't watched the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Never mind. Hey, it's uh, cold and slippery out there. Be careful. <laughs> any stories to share? You any stories? Of course. Here's one for you. There once was a, vig a village set uh, settled in a land of ice and snow. Wait, is that the immigrant song? Food was scarce, but not as much as the heat. The elders spoke of lush grove, safe, abundant and with comfort weather to boot. The only problem was the grave lay on the other side of the, the permanent hailstorm, uh, which would take weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple lift their young boy behind to attempt what the village called the trek. Okay, maybe it's not. They would scout all the way uh, to the grove and confirm its existence, then come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the trek before them, they sadly and predictably never came back. Over the following decades, the boy, that boy grew up with only the goal in mind, to take on the trek himself and find his parents alive at the grove, or dead in the ice. Figuring they may have simply uh, been ill-prepared, he, he trained every day until he was five years old, then his parents were that were when they left for the trek, then set off for his own attempt. The hailstorm's first bite wasn't as bad as he thought it would be, but the ice-cold soil slowly worked its way into the, his bones. After days of walking through the hailstorm, uh, through the storm without realizing it uh, was all just a metaphor playing out in his his troubled young mind. He stumbled upon, no pun intended, chilling, chilling sight. 
his parents frozen solid in a block of ice. The shock was too strong. He remained there, cursed, pondering, and cursing again. Oh wait, he remained there cursing, pondering, and cursing again, until the cold took him uh, uh, to become a part of that ice block. The end. What? What do you mean, what? No, no moral, or at least a proper ending? Sometimes stories can be harsh. It might just be the very message they, they mean to convey about life. You need to think about what transpired uh, to find your own, own takes. There are no wrong answers, as long as, the ring, uh, as long as they ring true to you. Maybe, but this one felt uh, like a pointless story. And it might uh, be the case for uh, that for you. Wait, and it might just be the case uh, that for you it was. Or you could consider the implications of our adventure being five years old, older than his par uh, parents when he found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who were your protectors and mentors, realizing they are actually younger than you? Your bearers of truth, the wise ones, you, the, uh, those you aspire to be like. A harsh reality indeed. You thought they knew it all. Had it all figured out. That they were cent centered and filled with purpose. Yet there you stand. Behold the one pillar you ever, t you ever took for granted. And used, f and used for stability. Physically crystallized. Yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. Had they really found inner peace already when you knew them, meaning you're the one who missed the mark, or were they simply excellent actors? Food for thought, huh? Yes, that's enough. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared, but what angle? Ooh. Boy, but he really, like... The shopkeeper is... he... he's got some good ones. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you his cabinet is off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. <laughs> you think you can just barge into my lab and go go through my stuff like... Uh, like you own the place? Um... Yeah, later on there's a really cool easter egg with that. I won't spoil it now. But, uh, it's awesome. I might be relatively close to it. I might get to it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit! He's, he's a two-hit. I... Man, the way, the way they get you navigating through this game is really cool. Whoa. Ah! Shit! Shit! Okay, it's actually kind of getting hard. Oh, shit! Oh, that was close. I, I think I'm close to death. Oh. Oh, how do you like that fucking sliding action? That was, that was great. Yes. <laughs> hey, I can't, uh... See if I can time this right. Oh, wait, I don't need to. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna let him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. Yeah, I don't have time to get him. It's too risky. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yikes. That was a little tough, wasn't it? He's got his doo 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 looting me. Oh, ow, shit. I wasn't paying attention. And... You. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's all good. <laughs> Gotta be really careful here. I just have to go... Whoop! 
rope dart is the best. It, you know, ever since they made the joke that everybody would just call the grappling hook, I've made like a, a conscious effort to not call it that. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, wait, how am I doing this? Oh yeah, I got it, I got it. Let me go. What? There we go. Oh, he fucking got me. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting close. I might play it safe here. There we go. Oh shit! No, no, I think I was close. Damn it! A whopping <laughs> two hundred and eight time shards accumulated so far. I'm glad they assigned me to you. The, um, as I've gone a little bit further into the, uh, the, in the development of my game, I've, uh, I mean, I've always had kind of a love and appreciation for, for pixel art, but I've been getting more and more into it, because, uh, I've been posting online, you know, a bit by now, uh, maybe even a bit more since, since I've made this footage, but fuck. Um, I'm getting better at it. It's, like, it's... See, basically the way it's, it's worked is that I've made sketches of... I should have read that. Um, you know, I've made a few sketches of a particular character that's going to be in it, um, a villain. And so, you know, I, I get the sketch going really good until I've basically got to a point that it's line art. And then I bring it into a program that kind of, um, kind of rasterizes it in a way, but not in a way that's, like, really bad. And then I touch it up to... To make it, you know, appear as though it's pixel art, and then I fill in all the details, like the shading and, and coloring and everything, and it's going really good so far. And like I'm get, it's gotten to the point that I'm making corrections on it, and I'm not, um, you know, I'm not going back to redo the sketch. I'm actually just doing it within the pixel art, and it's, it's like I've gotten. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm no like expert or anything. Shit. Um, fuck. I'm not, like, an expert or anything yet, of course. Like, I, like, um, the base of it would have to be from a sketch to begin with. But, yeah, like, I didn't do any of the shading in, in, in like, a program or anything. I just kind of did it by hand, and it was working really good. I'm, uh... The one thing that's kind of getting daunting about it, though, is... Is just, like, I'm, I'm putting so much time and effort in, into this one character, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, but it's one angle, I haven't applied animations to it, and I haven't brought it into Unity or anything, and it does kind of have it gnawing at the back of my mind, thinking like, is it going to be possible to do this all myself, or am I going to have to at some point, you, you like, get it developed to a point where I make a kick some shit, a Kickstarter so that I can, like, commission people to do some of the work for me to... You know, just to be able to get it out the door, because it is going to be a massive undertaking. I mean, I suppose the advantage I have is that there is no demand for this. Nobody knows that this is coming. Well, I mean, <laughs> other than me talking about it, of course. But it's not like... It's not part of an, an existing franchise that people are, like, you know, like, you know, like constantly going on about and, you know, eagerly awaiting its release or anything. So, I don't know. Maybe I can just let time be on my side. We'll we'll see. Um, yeah, I mean, at the moment, I just kind of see me doing it all myself. But if an opportunity arises that that I'm able to do it with, you know, with a, with some assistance from talented people, I mean, maybe that's a route I would want to go. I I'm mainly not going down that route just because there is literally zero budget for it. Like, I, I have absolutely no room to pay anybody for anything. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. How long am I, how am I doing? Looks like we are almost at a... You know what? I'm going to save it before I do that shit. <laughs> oh, am I going to have any more stories? I love the shopkeeper's stories, man. I, I really do. 
Bro. Uh, chat, uh, oh, no, I guess not, okay. What about any upgrades? Oh, I could get this one. What about these two? Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll save for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll save up for a bit. The, um, I'm sort of tempted to just, uh, at a certain point, just kind of grind it out so I can get all the upgrades. Um, but there's a certain event that happens that unlocks more upgrades, so we'll see. Ha! Oh, fucking shit. Whoa, whoa. Oh, nice. Speaking of monies. Oh, look at all these sick monies that I'm getting. Fuck yeah. I really like doing that. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be kind of tough. Oh, maybe not. Oh, whoa, nice recovery. If I do say so myself. Oh, who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's so. Oh, I'm getting so good at it. Oh. Spoke far too soon. <laughs> Admit that you did that just because you wanted to see me. <laughs> Glad I saved there. There you go, horrible. Eat those. Leave me alone, would you? Hey, do I have to... Am I able to get, get that stuff again, or is it already gone? Oh yeah, it's gone. Fair enough. Oh, shit. Ah, shit, I knew he was gonna get me. Motherfucker. I forget what's at the top of this peak. But, oh, come on. Really? I just slipped through the cracks just like that. Are you fucking... Hmm... Oh, hi, I'm Corbel. Uh, I'm Corbel's co-worker. Corbel. <laughs> uh, apparently, I just had to see the face you make when you fall in a pit. Priceless indeed. <laughs> I wonder if he's fucking with me and it's not actually another Corbel, or if it really is another Corbel. Kind of like, um... Kind of like Q in the Star Trek series. Um, the other Qs are also called Q. They all have the same name. <laughs> oh, fucking fuck you, you little shitter. Alright, how are we doing on time? We'll get a little bit further here. Don't fucking do it again. Jeez. We almost did it twice. Whoa, whoa. Starting. Yes. Okay, I think this is where I fucked up last time. Indeed it is. Oh. Okay. Oh shit, dog things. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't want to fuck this up. I don't want to fuck it up. No, 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 no. Okay, and. Oh. Oh, almost fucked that up and. Huh. Okay, maybe this goes a little bit further than I realized. What? What? No, no! Fuck! Yeah! No! Shit! Ah! Oh, of course, and I brought him back. What do do without touching the ground? Oh! Oh shit, a bat! A bat! Ah, fuck, he fucked me up. Yes! Oh, this... Yes, this is... Hmm. This particular character is interesting. Maybe we'll face him in the next episode. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you. For more videos and live streams, I do both of those on several different platforms. Links to that and more in the description. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.